Hey guys, for today's video, I have a very exciting bundle <laughs> to show you. Um, I did get the Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikvist Halloween bundle. So it comes with two eyeshadow palettes, the Trick or Treat palette and the Little Ghost palette. And it also came with five lip products, <laughs> which I'll do swatches of. And, oh, because I got the bundle, I also got this little scarf that I tried to tie a bow in my hair with. I don't know, it looks kind of silly, but I thought it was cute. And it also came with these like little keychain monsters, um, but I actually used them to make trick or treat Halloween bags for my stepsister's kids. So I'll show you what I made with those because they're already put together. So um, this is the little keychain. So there's a little bat and I made these bags. So I just put it on like a bag tag and this has nothing to do <laughs> with this bundle, but I'm showing you my crafts. I made these little tags. I don't know. I thought they turned out so cute and they glow in the dark, which is really fun. And the other little thing it came with was this little monster with a rainbow like tail, I guess. And I put that on the little boy's bag. So I thought those were really cute. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to do um, one look today and one look tomorrow with the other palette. So let's just get into it. I'm going to start with the Little Ghost palette only because I'm wearing my Little Ghost earrings. <laughs> so yeah, we'll start with this one. And let's just get into it. I'll zoom you in so we can actually see what I'm doing. So here is the Little Ghost palette. I'm sure if you were interested in this bundle, you already watched Angelica's own video because <laughs> she's the creator of this bundle with Odin's Eye. Um, I'm just taking the sleeve off, but the packaging is the same on the actual palette. It's really pretty. So this is Hella. Um, if you didn't know, she already has a collab with Odin's Eye. I think it's just called the Hella palette. Um, it's the goddess of the underworld, if I'm correct, in like Nordic mythology. Um, so they went with it for Halloween, which obviously makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so if you could see, there's like these little creepy pumpkins and this skeleton. And yeah, I just think it's really cute. I saw some people saying like they didn't think it was very Halloween colors, but I disagree because to me, Halloween is very colorful. Like it's purple and blue and black and I don't know. I just thought it, it was very Halloween. Um, so this is the color story. So there are two palettes, um, like I said, this is a more like blue purple one, but you still have like your oranges or like corals down here. Um, yeah, I really like how this looks. I, so far from what I've tried, I love Odin's Eye palettes, um, eyeshadow formula. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited about this. And there's little like this little one has bats in it. There's a little pumpkin and a spider. So I just think it's a really well put together set. And you could tell like they put a lot of thought into it. There's a little skeleton if it would focus. But yeah, what am I going to do today? I'm not sure. I think I thought I was going to do more of like these purple and pinks here, um, which I think, yeah, that is what I'm going to do because I put on like a pink holographic highlighter from my Shop My Stash. It's the ColourPop What the Shell or something. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that would go. Um, but. Yeah, there is these really fun blues too. But anyway, I think I'm just gonna 
get into it. So right off the bat, like, I'm already a little out of my <laughs> comfort zone because there's no, like, um, browns in here. There's no, like, transition type brown that I normally use. I guess, like, this would be the closest. This is the shade Candy Corn, but it's more like an orange, obviously. Um, so I'm wondering what I'm going to do. I think I'll just skip the whole transition idea. There is a brown, actually. I said there were no browns, but I think this is a brown licorice. Maybe it's more like a... Oh, no, it's not a brown. <laughs> it's like a plum shade. Of course, Angelica wouldn't put a brown in her palette, would she? Oh, that's really pretty, though. But yeah, that's too dark for my transition so i'm just gonna go right in with the shade skeleton i think that is kind of like a really light lilac shade kind of like more gray leaning and we'll see how that goes yes um oh i didn't put my eyeshadow primer on i'm really not prepared for this video am i <laughs> I'm just using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, as usual. And today I put my setting spray on before I did my eyeshadow. <laughs> because I'm finding like all my setting sprays are making my eyeshadows crease. I just put that swatch on my eye oh well okay this is starting out great i'm just gonna do one eye on camera just to save time because i am gonna do two looks and lip swatches in this video so i guess i'll start with this eye that i already put purple on um i'm looking for a brush that is not brown stained like this one here. This is from like a Luxie, I think, right? Oh no, this is Royal and Lime Nickel Moda set. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna ruin the little go um the little pumpkin embossing. Oh well. <laughs> Actually, yeah, this um, these shades aren't as they don't have as much kick up as like ABH shadows, so that little embossing might last a while. So I'm kind of just putting this as my transition shade. But it is, it looks purple because I put a swatch on my eyelid by accident. But that's fine because we are gonna do like a purple look. So this shade normally, I'm sure it was meant more to like blend out um, the other shades like this purple matte probably, but I'm just not as skilled with eyeshadow. I think this might turn out very simple because I already think I'm just going to go on with the shimmer. Yeah, because this shade on its own obviously doesn't do much on my skin tone because it's so light. So I'm going to try, as I normally do with any shadows, I'm going to try to put this shimmer on with a brush first to see how it performs. So I'm going to go in with the shade Zombie, which is this really pretty purpley one. I didn't even really show you the inside, so there's a mirror and the um, design from the front. Um, well, it's obviously a little different, but it's on the inside too, which is really fun. Okay, so I'm going in with my little flat brush that I always <clears throat> that I always use for shimmers. Yeah, this seems to be picking up pretty well. I haven't even swatched this palette, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, I don't normally like to swatch my eyeshadows before I use them. I don't know why, but that's just me. 
Oh, this is really pretty and sparkly. Yeah, this is going on with a brush, but I think I would prefer to use my finger because there is like glitter in this shade. I don't know if it's actually glitter, but it comes off glittery. And with your finger, you're able to press that into the eyelid better. So I'm kind of just focusing this on the outer like two thirds. But now I'm going to put my, yeah, so when I touch that, like, so much, um, you know, shadow comes off and it does feel like that very, almost like creamy foil shadow. Okay, yeah, definitely use your finger <laughs> with these shades. I don't, I've mentioned this in other videos, I don't love using my fingers to apply shadow because I always have pretty long nails but in this case like it pays off because look how much more impactful that is I love this shade already I don't know if this has different color sparkles I don't know but it's really nice <laughs> and I want to put the pink the shade Boo, exclamation point. I want to put that in the inner corner to, and then meet with the purple. So again, I'm going to try with the brush because I don't think I'll be able to get in the inner corner with my nails. But this one looks even more, okay, yeah. I don't know, this might not work at all with the brush because this one is a more like flaky formula and it's a duo crown. Oh, that is pretty. Oh my god, I hope you could see what I was doing this whole time. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so that looks like pink, right, in the pan, like very bright, but it has like a blue sparkle shift. I don't know. Can you even see that on camera? But when I look in my mirror here, it's very blue. So that's fun. So it goes really nicely with the purple. Okay, this is very exciting. I love it. <laughs> okay, so that, and that was with the brush. So, I'm, every time I do this, I mess it up. But I just want to see, okay. That's what it looks like on the finger. I'm gonna try and press it. Yeah, that's definitely more vibrant when you press it on. Wow. Okay, I love it. <laughs> yes, I'm loving this already. I do think maybe I should deepen up the outer corner simply because I want to try more shades but probably on like a normal day that this is all I would do obviously like maybe do some more on the lower lash line but I already just love this but yeah I guess I will I have to use the shade little ghost right I mean, that's the name of the palette. It's the purple matte that has like the bats in it. So I'm going to put a little of that on the outer corner and hope that I don't mess everything up. Ooh, this one is a bit more powdery, if you can see, than the first shade I used. I'm just going to press this on the outer corner with this weird brush that I don't think I've ever used. <laughs> it's like a triangle, but I thought this would help me to really focus in that area because I don't want to mess anything up. Oh, that is really pretty though. This is like a very true purple. 
I don't think I have many shades in my collection that are this shade of purple. Okay, I'm loving that already. So far, this palette has been very easy to use. Um, for at least the way I do eyeshadow, which is kind of just like slap it on and see how it turns out. But if you watch Anyelka's um, videos, you know like she does very colorful, bold looks. So if you want to see more like, you know, adventurous <laughs> eyeshadow, I would definitely watch her video if you haven't. I'm sure you have if you're watching this one. Okay, I think because now I put that purple on the outer corner, I should put a little on the bottom too. But then I need a very small brush, like this. This one, yeah, this is a Luxie 141 mini round brush. And I think, yeah, I'm just gonna go right in with Little Ghost, so the purple. And just on the outer, and I'm actually like very lightly dabbing into this because it's very pigmented. I do have um, some glitter fallout from those shades, probably from, you know, using a brush. But just something to mention, if you really don't want that, maybe use a glitter primer or something first. I really like this shade of purple. I wasn't sure how I felt about purples, but I think it's because all the purples I have in my collection are very like that dusty mauve purple. I don't have very many true purples. I mean, I'm sure I do. I just <laughs> haven't gotten to them yet. But yeah, this one is very nice. And then without like cleaning the brush off, I'm gonna go back into the shade Skeleton just to like blend out, like make it more, like it blends into my skin. Like that. And then with my inner corner brush, I'm gonna go back in I'm actually kind of just doing the same thing that I did on the upper lash, no, on the upper lid to the bottom lash line. So I'm going in with zombie. Yeah, so if you like put your brush into these shades, like if you're kind of aggressive, you're gonna pick it up. Cause it is that like I don't know what to call it, like crumbly, but it's not dry. I don't know. It's just that kind of formula. So this might be a disaster. You know what? I think I should spray my brush. I'm just going to spray the brush with my setting spray that's in my current rotation, the Milani Green Goddess, and hope that that doesn't ruin anything. Because I felt like that was just going to probably fall all over my face <laughs> if I didn't. So let's make sure... I don't know. Can you even see what I'm doing ever? Because I have to look into my mirror. Okay, that's working out nicely. Yeah. So definitely spray your brush or use a glitter primer, like I said, with these shades because they are very sparkly. Like that's still, that's kind of just going everywhere, but that's fine. This is a Halloween look, right? <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with the shade Boo, the pink, well, the pink blue shift. Um, and put that on my very inner bottom lash line. I'm going to spray my brush again. Because 
because I want that right here. And then I need a clean brush. I just want to like kind of see if I can dust away some of the glitter. But that was like user error because I went down too far with it. Yeah, that's kind of like just on there. So I hope you like glitter. <laughs> if you bought this bundle. And I kind of want to go back on the top with the shade Skeleton just to like clean it up a little. But I do like getting like the shimmer above my actual crease because my eyes are like a bit hooded. So if I don't put it up here, you won't see it when my eyes are open. I think I'm going to stop there and do the other eye off camera and finish, you know, my eyebrows and everything and I'll come back to do some lip swatches. Okay, so here is the finished look. As you can see, <laughs> on this eye I got so much glitter fallout so I made sure to spray my brush um, and I used my inner corner brush on that eye. Where did I put it now? I used this brush for the whole bottom lash line and it came out much more <laughs> clean. So yeah, um, just a warning like these, well the, at least the shades that I used, these two shades have a lot of like sparkle in them. So yeah, just a warning on those, but I really like how it came out. And I really like the purple on the outer corner because it added more like depth. Oh, I also, um, I used a line, a liner. <laughs> what do you call it? A liner on my waterline. Um, I actually just got this. It's from the ColourPop Sailor Moon, the new um, collection, and this shade was perfect. This is the shade I can't pronounce. Azabu Juban. I don't know. I do, I'm a Sailor Moon, you know, fan, but I don't know what that means because um, it's been like a long time <laughs> since I watched Sailor Moon. But this, yeah, was a perfect shade, so I just put that on the waterline. And I think that's all to update you. I do, I think I actually did also add a bit more purple on the lower lash line on this eye because this one got a little dark, uh, got a little dark. Got a little dark? <laughs> Why am I talking weird? So I had to even it out on that eye but I think that's it so yeah a very simple look but if you guys watch my other videos you know I don't do like crazy eyeshadow looks so this is a look that I would actually wear and I will be wearing it today and I am leaving my house so I think it's really fun and I love the sparkle um yeah I don't know how well it's coming across on camera, but when I look like like this in my mirror, I can see like blue and purple sparkle and yeah, it's just really pretty. So, so far really liking this palette. I only used four shades. So this purple and these three shades. So there is so much more I can do with this. So many different looks and yeah. I'm pretty excited. Oh, I also really need to try this shade because this is the shade that honestly like sold me on this whole collection. When I saw Angelica put that shade on, I was like, okay, I know it's gonna be good because often these shades and palettes do not look like they do on the eye. Like they don't look like they look like on the pen. <laughs> I feel like I'm not making any sense. I hope you understand. Um, but this one was like true to color. So I'm very excited to use that shade too. But anyway, 
Um, I wanted to talk about the lip products. Um, so actually, I'm kind of happy like about the variety that they gave you like they didn't just give you five of the same formula so you actually get a glow so i'm not sure what the full name is on these i could look it up honestly but oh it's right here i knew it was somewhere this is the glow lip gloss so you get one glow lip gloss and i'll show you the shades you get two matte lip stains i do already have some matte lip stains from odin's eye and i did swatch these already and i don't feel like they're the same formula so i don't know if they changed their matte lip stain formula or if it's just like it's in a different packaging so i don't know but it seemed like these ones were more like a very dry moussey um formula whereas this one that i have right here because it's in my it's in some kind of project this is also a matte lip stain but it's kind of like watery so i don't know what the deal is with that but i really like this so we'll see um so yeah two of those and then two shine lip glosses so the glow lip gloss is more like a sparkly and the shine is just like a regular lip gloss from what I gather. So I'll do the matte lip stains last because they are going to stain. So first I'll show you the glow lip gloss. I did swatch them on my hand already but not on my lips. So this is the shade Radioactive. By the way, they all have their own packaging Halloween and Angelica very pretty but the actual packaging is also very cute i love it so yeah this is the shade radioactive it has like kind of like a sweet smell but i don't know if it's meant to be anything in particular but this is how the shade looks and i'm just gonna go right on i had a lip balm on before but i think it's fine so this one has like green sparkle in it I think is what she had said in her video it feels very creamy like no um, grittiness at all which I like and I love the shade I also I'm not I'm trying not to get bundles that have like tons of lip products in them and I know like this one has five, <laughs> but when I saw her lip swatches, I was like, those are all shades that I like because they're all kind of leaning warm toned, I feel. And that is the shade. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just got very distracted. There's a really pretty bird outside. Anyway, uh, squirrel. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, they're all leaning warm tone. And I feel like that's very flattering on my skin tone. I've come to realize like all those like cool tone nude shades that all the influencers seem to love, those look horrible on me. So I love this one. So yeah, it is, I mean, you have to look kind of close to see the sparkle, but I love the formula of this. It's one of those, um, lip products that kind of fills in your lip lines and just makes everything look very smooth. So Loving this so far. So let's try the other now. These are the shine lip glosses. So Let's start with quicksand because I think that's more of the nude shade and they all have the same packaging just with different names obviously and the same component That's what this one looks like. So again, this is like a very warm nude. This formula feels thinner than the, the glow version. 
Probably because there's no like glitter in it. So, loving this one too. <laughs> So that's the lip gloss in the shade Shine. No, in the shade Quicksand. It's the Shine lip gloss. Again, not sticky at all. Loving this one too. <laughs> and then the other Shine lip gloss is the shade Spectral. This one here. This one's more like a mauve, I think. Yeah, like a deep brownie mauve Okay, I, I'm loving the formula of these I don't think I've ever tried an Odin's Eye lip gloss I've only tried the matte lip stains So I also love this shade. And I also should mention like when it comes to tones of makeup, I have like the same almost exact taste as Angelica. So whenever she releases something, I'm, I know I'm going to like it because she loves orange eyeshadow, yellow. I'm not so much on the blue train as, as she is, <laughs> but the oranges and the yellows and the warm lip products, that's like what I like. So yeah, I'm not surprised that I love this shade also. I don't know, I thought it was mauve at first, but maybe it's more like a rosy, a rosy brown, at least on my lips, which are naturally kind of pigmented. So they tend to change the color of things. Lastly, let's try the matte lip stains. So the first one is the shade Swamp Fog. We'll do this one first because I think the other one is a deeper shade. These have the same component. I guess like once these are all in your collection, it's going to be hard to tell <laughs> them apart. So maybe like put them, you know, lying down so that you can see the sticker. So yeah, Swamp Fog. So I'll show you what I mean about these. Like. They're very, there's like no wetness to them. I, I mean, I was going to say they're dry, but I don't want you to think like in a bad way, you know? Um, cause they're like mousse. See how like matte that is? So they feel very silicone-y, I want to say. I'm not doing a good job of staying in the lines, but I definitely don't feel like these are the same matte lip stains as before because like I said, there's no wetness to these. They're not like watery like the other ones, but they do have that like blurred matte look, which I like. I don't know if they're gonna dry down like super dry looking, but you know, because it's matte, um, it's gonna enhance your lines more. That's like my one complaint with matte lip products, but these ones are on the better side <laughs> because of the blurring formula. But I do really like this shade too. So yeah, I think if you don't like warm lip products, maybe, <laughs> steer clear because they're all to me these are all warm tones but i love them i'm gonna take this off before it stains mm, it kind of stained already but that's what it's supposed to do so the last one is the shade shadow creature this might have to be the one i keep on <laughs> because i think it's the deepest of everything so that's the shade and I don't even know, can you hear that on camera? Like how it sounds dry? <laughs> so 
So that is the shade Shadow Creature. I thought that was going to be deeper, but it's almost like red. Like a terracotta. Okay, now I'm confused because that does not look like the sticker. Maybe it was because I put the other one on first. But I like this shade too. I like all of them. But I don't think I will keep this one on because I don't feel like it goes with the eyeshadow. So, oops, I think I'm going to put one of the, the Shine lip glosses back on. But yeah, see how it's stained already? So the staining factor is pretty quick, if you were wondering. Do I want to put the quicksand back on? Yeah, I think so. This like warm brown. Yeah, I feel like that goes a little better with the eyeshadow because it has some like orange in it and I love orange and purple together. So let me zoom you back out so you can't see my horrible lip lines. <laughs> Okay, so that was the first look with the Little Ghost palette. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, but it will be a few minutes for you, a few seconds for you actually, I'm going to use the Trick or Treat palette. Okay, so let's do a look with the other palette in the bundle, the Trick or Treat palette. So there's a sleeve on here like the, the other one had. And I think it's the same um, art on the cover. It's just, you know, different colors to go with the colors in this palette. So this one, I think this is going to be my favorite one. I'm just trying to get <laughs> this off. So it looks like this. I love it. I love orange eyeshadow, as I've mentioned. I love the yellows up here. Um, there's even this like fun pop of green. So yeah, really liking the color story on this one. Uh, and I think, yeah, you could do a neutral look with this palette if you stuck with these shades here. Um, but yeah, today I'm definitely going to do like a very warm orangey look because I just feel like I, I have to do that. <laughs> So this one, yeah, this is a more like, um, this palette is easier for me to do a look with, I feel, because it's more like in my comfort zone. You have like the neutrals, like I said, and then you have this cream shade here. So yeah, this is like a standalone palette for me, definitely. So yeah, let's just get into the look. I'll zoom you in. Oops, that's the wrong way. <laughs> oh, and this time I'm wearing my skeleton earrings. So I thought that was fun. I hope that you will be able to see what I'm doing. So I did already put my eyeshadow primer on. Oh, my brows are not staying up. Okay. I'm going to go in with the shade Wicked. The cream shade I think it's a matte it looks kind of shimmery but I'm not sure if that's just like other shimmers got into it from you know shipping and I'm gonna set my eyeshadow primer but also just try and make like an even base for the rest of the shades yeah, that is a matte. Obviously, it doesn't really look like much on my skin tone because it's basically the same shade. But yeah, this is what I use these kind of shades for. And then at the end of the look, if I've like not blended very well, which is likely, <laughs> I would go back into a shade like this and kind of like soften the edges. So these shades always get used in palettes for me. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with the shade Howl, which is this fun, like, mustardy shade that has the little bats in it. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. This is a very interesting shade. Oh, 
I love it already. <laughs> I love these tones, as you probably know if you watched any of my other eyeshadow content. So far, with these palettes, every shade I've tried is what I expected it to be on the lid. Whereas, um, when I tried the Flora Story palette from the Perfect World collection, there was a shade in there um, that went on like super light compared to how it looked. So I was a little concerned like there might be other shadows like that in Odin's Eyes formulas. But so far this one has been very true to like the pan color, which I like. So I'm just gonna put like a soft amount of that for now. But I love this as a transition shade. Um, but I do want to, you know, make this more of an orangey look. I could stay with this row and do like a very warm, like yellowy brown, but I'm gonna use the orange, the oranges today. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Jack-O-Lantern, which is like this very true orange here. And I'm putting that like in the actual crease of my eye. So I, I open my eye to do this so that I can see where it is. And then I just usually like blend downwards for the outer corner to add like some depth there. It's really so easy to blend. Odin's eye mattes, I feel. I think they'd be very good for beginners if you're, you know, willing to try like these fun kind of color stories because they don't usually do neutral palettes. I think I have one what I consider like a neutral palette from them, but I haven't tried it yet actually. <laughs> and it's one of their like oldest palettes. I think it's called Elva 2. I'm just thinking, do I want to put the shade Candy Apple for even more depth? Mm, I just don't want that to go too red, so I'm going to swatch it first. That's what it looks like. It is like an orange red though, so I think I'm going to be good with that. But I really just want like a small amount of that one. I think I'm just going to use the same brush though. And I just want that one like really on the outer corner. This isn't honestly the best brush for like doing this but it's fine. And I'm just going to bring it down to the lash line. And now I want to use the shade Deadly, I think. There's so many nice shimmers, but I think I need to use this one. So I learned with the other palette yesterday, um, I definitely have to spray my brush or use my finger when I apply the shimmers because, well, let's just see. Maybe it's a different Okay, maybe not. I spoke too soon. This shade is more like this kind of metallic, whereas the two shades I tried in the Little Ghost palette were more of like that flaky formula, and the glitter like definitely went on my under eyes. But this one is more of that smooth formula, so I think, yeah, it's not the same. But it is beautiful. I love it. So this is more like a copper, like an orangey copper shade, and I love it. <laughs> like you saw, I barely tapped into there, and look at this payoff. Okay, I'm leaving the inner corner blank. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but... I don't want to bring this in all the way. That is beautiful. Yeah, so that shadow was so like pigmented that I kind of lost the the mattes that I used. So I'm going to go back in with the shade Howl. This one that I used for my transition. 
and just kind of soften the top here. And then go back in with jack-o'-lantern, the orange. Okay, and then candy apple again, just on the very outer corner. I'm really like just tapping so lightly into the pans and look at the color. It's so vibrant. Okay, so, and then on the lower lash line, actually no, should I do the inner corner first? <laughs> Okay, so in this palette, what I'm noticing is the lightest shades like that I would consider for an inner corner. You could do a matte inner corner with that shade, but this is the lightest one for me. And then if I did like a more, if I was using these tones down here, I'd probably use this one. So yeah, there's nothing lighter than that for the inner corner. For, for me personally. Yeah, I can definitely just use this Mummy's Curse shade. It looks kind of like a yellow. Ooh, it might be a duochrome. So that's what it looks like on the finger. So it's again, not like that flaky formula from the last palette. Oh yeah, that's gonna be really pretty on the inner corner. It's like a yellow base, but with maybe like different like green and orange shimmer in it. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna... Oh, maybe. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. That's really pretty. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> All these shades are like surprises because you don't really know what they're gonna... Like the duochromes, you can't see the shift, obviously, in the pan, but it's so fun when you swatch it out. So, my inner corner brush. So I don't feel like I need to, um, do I need to spray my brush? Maybe not. I'll try it without first, because it is picking up pretty good on the brush. And I'm going to bring that in to meet with the other shimmer. Yeah, that is actually really nice. Because it does have like an orange, like a yellowy orange shift. So it works really nicely with the orange. And with the rest, I'm just going to put it on my brow bone there. Okay. I love it. I'm thinking I'm just going to do the same on the lower lash line. Um, so I'm going to go in with Howl. Try to use a mirror in the palette to get a better angle. So I'm kind of just doing that all over except the very inner corner. And then I'm going to go in the shade Jack-O-Lantern. I don't know if I want to put the deepest color, the candy apple. I think I like it just like that. Because sometimes when I put too many like red orange tones on the lower lash line, it could start to look like your eyes are red. Like it brings out the redness in my eyes. So I think I want to leave it like that. Yes. But I do want to bring the the shade Mummy's Curse into the the lower part too. Why do I keep putting that brush back? Because now I can't find it. <laughs> yes, love it. Okay, I think that's the final look without mascara obviously yes okay i love this <laughs> so i'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then i'll come back to do a lip 
Okay, so here is the finished look. I went in with a eyeliner on my waterline, the Urban Decay Torch. This is in my Shop My Stash and I just thought it would be perfect because it's like a burnt orange color. And yeah, I love this. I think this is one of my favorite looks I've done in a while. This, I have to say this eye looks like really unblended but it's because I had like a really bad breakout right here and it left like an orange, not orange, like a red dot. So that's not eyeshadow <laughs> if you're wondering. This eye it looks much better but I love it. So yeah, it was super easy to use. Like I said, I love orange. This might be my new favorite orange eyeshadow in my collection. Let's zoom back out so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I love, I think it's like the, the orange with my eye color just looks really like flattering on me, I guess, in my opinion. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really happy with this palette. I think if I had to pick a favorite, it would be this one just because it's more like up my alley in terms of color story and the fact that I can do a more neutral look. Um, I could probably do a neutral look with the other palette too. Yeah, I mean there is this row, which I guess I consider like the neutral row of the palette, but this one is more colorful, I feel. So it's up to you like what your preferences are if you only want to get one of the palettes. And I'll show you them side by side. Does that help? No. So like this. <laughs> I can't see so I hope it's showing up well. So those are the two palettes side by side. I think they definitely are different enough that you could get both of them if you really like eyeshadow like I do. And if you like Odin's eye, I'm sure you want to get the whole bundle anyway if you're anything like me. I do also love the lip glosses. It wore really nicely yesterday, the one that I used. So I'm going to go in with a, sh um, a different shade today. But first I'm going to go in with my NYX Slide On Glide On whatever pencil in the shade Nude Suede Shoes because I'm going to use the nude gloss today. This lip liner is really light so it's not really going to do much. It's just to help me stay in the lines. So I'm going to use the shade, the Shine lip gloss in the shade Spectral. This is like more brown, mauvey brown. So that's the shade Spectral. And I love it, like I said. <laughs> um, I don't really have any complaints about anything in this collection. The only thing, um, which I've already mentioned several times, is these two shadows that I used um, with the little ghost palette look. They had a lot of fallout because there's like glitter in them. They're more like a flaky formula as opposed to the shimmers I used in this palette. So. Obviously, I can only speak to the colors I used, so I don't know if these ones would be different, these shimmers, but I definitely need to use them. And in this palette, yeah, I mean, all the shimmers kind of look different, so I don't know. I'm sure it's described on the website, but this video would be a million years long if I went through all of that. But yeah, loving everything so far so yeah and when I look at both of these palettes I just think how many different looks I can do so definitely these are not like the kind of palettes where you're gonna wear it and just get one kind of same color family look there's gonna be a lot of variety so I think that's really fun too so I think that's it for this video yes <laughs> So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. I know, I mean, it's it's kind of late 
if you wanted to pick up Halloween makeup at this point, I don't know if you're gonna get it before Halloween. I guess it depends where you live. So when I'm filming this, everything is still in stock from what I can see. Yeah, so you can still get the bundle and it's actually on sale. I don't know if it was on sale to begin with. Um, so the bundle is still available, but you could also get the palettes on their own. And then the lip products, you can get a bundle. So you can get all of them or you can get them all separately. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, and even if you don't get this before Halloween, these aren't, like this doesn't have to be Halloween themed. Like this could be a general fall palette or any time of year really depending on your preferences and same with this one this could be like all year round really so it's just really the imagery that makes it more halloweenish <laughs> but yeah um yeah like i said i hope this video was helpful if it was give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye